And I think men were over-treated, over-diagnosed, and so forth, and we've seen that come down with the increased utilization of active surveillance. Uh, so I think one of the big driving factors, and, and again, just my reflections of a clinician, is that certainly um, there are couples, uh, and uh, whether, you know, uh, men and women, men and men, in which one partner drives the, the uh, healthcare decisions of, of, of both people. And so, so I think that, um, you know, the, the, the health literacy of the partner as well as the health literacy of the patient in terms of what the potential risks and benefits of uh, screening will lead to a individual, you know, better individualized choice. I think what we all don't want to see is that recently, you know, I and I'm sure other urologists have seen men who weren't offered a PSA test and then they've come in with a PSA of 300, 400 and they have metastatic prostate cancer and um, one would have liked to at least have had the option and learned about the option of getting that PSA test a couple of years ago, you know, which may have uh, led to a, a, a uh, window of curability that wouldn't have been missed.